365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is August 3rd, 2022, and the title of our devotion is The Universal Question. The scripture reading can be found in Genesis chapter 22, verse 7, and it reads, Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? It's a question that transcends time and reaches us today. We hear it in many different ways, but in the end, it's the same question. Where is peace? Where is love? Where is support? We live in a century of needs. Not just any need, but the deepest and most felt. Today we spend a high percentage of our time trying to meet our needs. If you don't believe me, calculate the time a person spends on Instagram behind the likes that in his or her mind means acceptance and belonging. Notwithstanding the above, many modern psychologists believe we can find satisfaction by meeting our basic needs. Psychologist Abraham Marslow designed a pyramid to organize the, those needs in an hierarchy. He placed psychological needs at the base of the pyramid. Food, sleep, shelter, water, excretion, libido, and so on. After these, the following needs is security, that is, stability, protection against violence, protection for health, and financial resources. Then come social needs, friendship, socialization, and acceptance, intimacy, status, self-esteem, recognition, achievement, and respect. At the top of the pyramid are the needs that pertain to self-fulfillment, self-improvement, prestige, creativity, spontaneity, and morality. Each of these unmet categories makes us ask the same question Isaac asks. Where is it? And when we satisfy one level, we go to the next, in a never-ending quest. And when you supply all the level of needs, the question reappears, where is? Are you designed for that tireless quest that isn't satisfied with anything? Are you looking in the wrong place? I don't think the likes you get on a photo, number of friends you have on Facebook, nor the number of views you have on TikTok will fill the void in your heart. Valise Pascal said that in the human heart there is a void that has the shape of God, and therefore only God can fill it. Wonderful. Although I invite you to pursue self-fulfillment, the message of God for you today is this. Only I can fill the emptiness of your heart. Let me enter your life today. Amen.